So we've got to do some bits on this potentially door. So my car's just in the way. But we're going to have to create a slot through there so that this bar can stick out and be part of the catch. Okay, so we want a slot in there. So how are we going to mark that out? And it wants to be flush with this face. So... We're still in shot, just about. So we've got to make an allowance for the thickness of the steel. So there we are. And then put that there and mark the other side. Okay, so that's the slot. Now we want to drill a hole there and there. If I try and put that in the pillar drill, unless I spend forever clamping it down and maybe have an ang angle block and stuff, which I don't have, um, it's going to be a bit difficult. So I think we need to two dots and use a hand drill. But first of all, I just want to make sure I know where the top of the door is going to be. So the top of the door is going to be there and the air inlet will be down here somewhere. So we want the catch to be about there. Okay. As usual, we're making this up as we go along. So, right, I'll get a drill, start off with a small drill and, and work up, and then we can use the four and a half inch angle grinder with one of those one mil cutting discs and just cut that out. Right, I'm just going to uh, turn the sound right down for this bit. So let's just have a look, yeah not bad, a little bit tight this end, so it just wants a, a file through there and a round file on either end just to clean things up. So I'll just do that off camera. So having done that, I think I want to drill the holes here and here or there and there, I think there and there for the air inlet before I cut this piece off. That way it will be um, easier to hold this piece of steel. So I think about there and um, there's the middle so we'll need to be an inch hole, about half inch, about there, 
and about here yeah I'll just mark that out and uh, dot it and then we'll go from there that pencil is the lead no it's not okay so we'll go like that and I'll just get the tape measure and we'll mark it out I don't know whether you're about to see this but I will go we want about an inch in the middle let's go 15 and we'll have about a 25 mil hole so we want a centre dot in the middle again 15 25 and a centre dot in the middle so I'll just dot those drill those I'll do a pilot hole and then we'll just uh, video using the big drill again drilled a little hole in the middle I think it's 8 mil and I've also driven driven drilled a, a hole there and made the catch so the catch fits through that slot and then that fits like that so that's the catch So we just tighten that up and these are a load of bolts my neighbour got me a big bucket of bolts and these are just very handy I've used them uh, on the big extension to the solar gate there we go that'll do so now then how are we going to show this? Let's turn it upside down and move the camera. Oh, we can see there, all right. So I was thinking about this, thinking, do I need to make a big plate with two holes in it? Imagine you've got a piece of steel, not like this, because that's just a bit narrow. But drill a hole in the middle, bend one end up, and then as it pivots, it opens that one and that one to that point. So therefore, with a bit of luck, that will just miss that if the pivot's there. So we want something just a bit wider than this. And drill a, make it about so long, drill a hole in the middle, put a bolt and maybe a spring. That's job done. Okay, there we go. Another of these amazing bolts from my neighbour. A washer, a spring, a that. And tighten the nut up. And then what we need to do, obviously, is just put a a lever on one one end of these and we'll work that out um, when I've got the whole door on and sort out the ergonomics of it i.e. which side we want it and what gets in the way of what 
There we go, that blocks it off. That doesn't. It's a bit more perfect than the perfect thing. And I wonder if this uh, bolt will come to the end of its thread, which will make it even better. No, it'll, it'll squash the spring up. But I think that'll be fine. We'll wait and see if that spring suffers with the heat. I'm happy with that. I mean, you could do all sorts of complicated things. You could have a little a gearbox lever off a Land Rover, just a short end with a little round end, yeah, off there like that, so that then you just lift it up or lift it down. But you could also have a stop this end. So let's say, for instance, you have a stop there. So that goes up like that. Um, and you don't need to line it up because it stops on the stop. Maybe a Morris Minor gear lever if I can find one. Or is that sacrilege? Anyway, so this is now that way up. And we have the air inlet and the catch. So all we've got to do now is two little plates off there with holes in and two little bits of box section that will weld to the firebox door frame yeah nearly there <laughs> So here we go, I got a bit carried away uh, with this designing because I wasn't quite sure how these things were going to happen. So those short bits of box section are there, focus, with the holes top to bottom. So I welded those in place and then I offered up the door and then welded the other part of the hinge in place so I bolted the other part of the hinge to those bits of box section so they were holding held in the right place then clamped the door to the firebox and then welded the other part of the hinge together as you will see right now let's try and do this live without me getting in the way So the holes are there and there, and because I drilled them together, they're in line. And I did the same with these pieces. So there we go. And I was a little bit worried about this return. So I'm just going to focus the camera down there, if we can. Uh, because it's got a return like that, as this comes out, the bottom of that return goes that way. So I was not so much worried, but just a bit concerned. So we sort of, you know what it's like when you're not quite sure how things are going to go? And so the only thing to do at some point is just tack it together and see what happens. And um, after about a week's worth of thought, uh, I did that and it seems to have worked out right. So I'll just focus down there. So it gets a bit closer there but we're well away from it.
So the next thing to do is to cut an angle on there like that and then that needs to be welded on there with a notch cut in here like this and that will be the catch. So I'll just crack on with that. You can maybe hear the turbine fluttering away in the background. So we'll just cut an angle and then go as far as we can see. We need to be about there. Okay, there you go. That'll do for the moment until it's bedded in. I can probably weld a bit of something on there to lift that up. But I'm very keen to uh, see how it works before I get into the finesse. I think we're almost there. All we've got to do is put the liner in the sides. And uh, maybe put some wheels on the back. So I'm going to crack on with that. So there we go. Bit of an echo there. So there we go. Um, the project's moving on quite rapidly. Well, maybe. Um, I'm going to put some wheels on the back so I can move it. And I think in the next video, we'll give it a road test. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Have a look at my channel page um, for things like the books that I produce and uh, um, various methods of funding and if you've not already done so please subscribe there's loads more videos coming up it's uh, I don't want to flood the channel with new videos so it's a matter of spreading them out I'm not constantly desperate for a uh, huge amount of views but it is a matter of putting the word out and spreading the ideas to allow people to be um, more self-reliant and uh, resilient in these slightly weird times. Catch up with you soon.